Hello, welcome. I'm gonna be uh, working some more on the goat shed today, so stay tuned. Hello, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. Uh, it's early in the morning. I'm going to go ahead and get started while it's cool, and we got a lot of things to do on this project. So let's get busy. So my method I'm using just to do the cement work is I pour a dry bag of cement down uh, after I'd build my forms and level the place out as much as possible. Because it's important to get as uh, leveled as much as possible because the more pre-work you do, the less cement you're going to have to use. So I just pour my dry cement in and just spray it down really good with water, come back about half hour later, spray it down some more, do another half hour, spray it down some more. That way it gets set in. So the cement is dry. I set it up for 24 hours and it's got that rough finish. I, you know, I, I washed all the, you know, left the abrasive rocks on the surface. And there's a reason why I did that is so while the goats are walking on this surface, it's grinding down their hooves a little bit, which reduces the amount of hoof care I have to do with its frequency. So that's why I'm doing this rough cement texture on the base. Plus, it is just wonderful for keeping them out of the mud, keeping me out of the mud, and then keeping them dry and happy. Okay, at this point before I, I continue the cement work, because I've got to build a step up because of the slope of the hillside, I need to attach the fences, but to do that I'm going to take the gates off, put the fences on uh, uh, this area, because the cement is going to encapsulate part of the fencing in the uh, cement. That's just the way the design fell, so let's get that done.
Okay, I get to use these broken pieces of cement block as filler. Yes, I do.
Well, we got the cement path work done. I've got the fences attached or the uh, stock panels attached for the paddocks. I just have to put in uh, some corner posts. I got those today. I'll be cutting those and then putting the holes in the grounds and cementing those in tomorrow. I'm tired. I'm going to conclude this episode and we're going to continue the final part of the build for the goat shed uh, in constructing the roof is the last structure I need to add to this. I just need to put in the dividers, to divide the two paddocks, and then to divide the uh, shed to keep, give the two goats their separate sleeping areas. <laughs> well, I got a little bit of an audience. I've got a doe with twin um, fawns over here. I got another doe over here. Another doe over here. No, those are two buck. Yeah, I'm surrounded by quite the herd, all within maybe 50 feet of me. So plenty to see and plenty to do here on the farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I want to thank you guys for showing up and uh, watching me do what I do here on the farm. Please stay tuned to more videos. You could do that by uh, liking the channel, uh, giving me a thumbs up. Also, leave a comment down below and uh, cl click that share button. Sharing my videos on your social media platforms really helps out that channel a lot. Something else you could do is subscribe, then click that bell icon. That'll alert you to new videos as I upload them. Hey, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Yeah, got a busy day tomorrow. We'll see ya. Bye. Well, I got the sun setting on this project, so it's time to go get cleaned up and we'll work on it again tomorrow. Stay tuned to, uh, to that episode as I get a chance to edit them. I've been so busy with this project, I'm on a time crunch here because uh, this is Sunday. No, this is Saturday. Yeah, this is Saturday. I have to go get the goats on Wednesday, but I have to work on Monday, so that's 12 hour shot. So I'm going to just go ahead and conclude this episode. We got a lot done. Stay tuned to more episodes. You could do that by subscribing, clicking that bell icon, and also uh, share, click that share button. Sharing our videos on your social media platforms helps us out. Another thing you can do is give us a thumbs up, like the channel, that helps out, and also, uh, Leave a comment. I'll see you guys in the next episode, okay? I'll be back tomorrow. Bye-bye.